My name's Alice and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to install Sims 1 on your computer and the way it worked for me. So for this way you'll need the Sims Complete Collection on disc, which you can get from eBay, CEX, Amazon, and you'll also need an external DVD drive which you can also get from those places. In the case of your game there should be a serial number and four discs. Once you put the first disc into the DVD drive, it should come up with this. And for me, I want English. And I want to install the game. And it will come up down here that it is preparing the install shield wizard. This will allow your Sims game to install. So next. And I'm just going to leave it in program files. And now it's asking you for your serial number, which again should have come with the game. Once you put in the serial number, it will start installing, but it will take a while due to there being four discs and it being a very old game. There are other ways you could potentially install this game. For example, old games download, which I did try, but that didn't work for me. So now I've got my second disc in and it's still on 95% but it will remain on 95% until all the discs are complete. When you put another disc in and then click OK, it might come up saying that the disc is incorrect, which it's not. It's just a very old game and can be difficult sometimes. Once it's gone through all the discs, it will ask you to put disc 1 back in, which will then finalise everything and it will come up with this. I don't even think you can register anymore, so register later. Click finish. Once the game is installed, you'll need to download a patch, which I'll put a link to in the description. When you're on this page, go to show all files. And the one you want to download is this one. Sims.exe. Once that's done, find it in your folder. For me, it's gone into my storage drive. The next step is to get the new exe file and put it along with the old one. Go to Program Files, Maxis, The Sims, and down here, you want to right click, More Options, Rename, just rename it to sims.old and then drag and drop. For me, it comes up with create link and I want the shortcut to be placed on my desktop, which it now is. What you'll need to do if you can't get the new exe file into program files then right click the new one, show more options, copy, and then paste it into here. Go to compatibility and you want to run the program in the, compa in the compatibility for Windows 7 and run as administrator. Then go to shortcut and right at the end of all of this, you want to do a space dash R for resolution 1024 by 768. If you want it in windowed mode, all you'll have to do is dash W and you'll get it in windowed mode. Apply, OK and see if your game works. My game seems to have loaded up okay. And it's going through all of the expansion packs. And that's all you have to do. If you have any questions or something you're stuck on, write them in the comments. I hope that this helps you and you finally get to play Sims 1. I'm going to leave it there for now. If you enjoyed, give this video a like, hit the subscribe button and press the bell to be informed when I upload. Write down in the comments what games you want me to play. 
Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.